In this podcast, we're going to talk about nuclear decay, specifically transmutation equation. All right, so here we have an example of a nuclear symbol. The U is going to be where the element symbol is. So this is the symbol for uranium. The bottom number, the lower number, is your atomic number, which is also the same number of um, protons in your nucleus. So the atomic number on the periodic table would be the top number. And here, the top number is going to be your mass number. It's going to be your protons plus neutrons, so it's the mass of the entire nucleus. All right, so here we see a nuclear equation. We have uh, uranium, which is our radioactive element. Remember, mass is on top and protons are on the bottom. Here we have a neutron. It has a mass of one, so it has one neutron, no protons. And so the uranium atom is bombarded with the neutrons, and then it splits the uranium atom into a barium atom with 56 protons, 140 mass number, a krypton atom with 36 uh, protons, 91 is the mass number, and three neutrons. Okay? So the way this all works is everything on the top must be equal on each, each side of your um yield sign okay so 235 plus 1 must be equal to 142 plus 91 plus 3 times 1 okay as you see there and that is all equal okay same for the bottom numbers all those proton numbers they follow the same rules so they must sum up on each side of the yield sign as well and you see that 92 plus 0 is equal to 56 plus 36 plus uh, 3 times 0 which is just 0 Okay, so we're going to use that fact to help solve for unknowns. So here we have a radium atom. Radium-226 has 88 protons. It's going to decay into, uh, going to emit an alpha particle, and we want to find what element it turns into. So we're going to use the same facts as we did a while ago. So we know that 226 equals, wherever the arrow is, is equals 4 plus something. So that'd be 222, right? Okay, so that's the mass number of the unknown. Now let's look at the proton number of the unknown. So we have 88 equals 2 plus x. So that'd be 86. And 86 is atomic number for radon. Okay, so radon's Rn, so he goes in right there. All right, so radium 226 emits an alpha particle and becomes radon 222. Okay, let's look at another example. Right here we have a uranium atom, uranium-235, bombarded with a neutron. It becomes iodine-139, gives off two neutrons, and something else. It becomes one other thing. So let's figure out what that other thing is. So we got 235 plus 1 equals 139 plus 2 times 1 plus x. Okay, and that x is going to be 95. So our unknown has a mass of 95. Now on this side, we have 92 plus 0, that's 92, equals 53 plus 2 times 0, so that's just 0. So what plus 53 gives us 92? That'd be 39. So we know our atomic number is 39. Then we look on the periodic table for atomic number 39 and see that it is element Y, yttridium. And that's how you balance transmutation equations.